The ticket numbers for Wembley Stadium coming up for the end of August, the all-in show. Over 43,000. We got a gate record. We got an attendance record. And uh, still not an official on-sale date technically yet. Yeah, the official on-sale date is Friday, but um, they're closing in on $6 million gate right now. I didn't get an updated number. Um, but uh, that was the number that Taz had on the air. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I mean, their record is just over a million, so they're about six times their record, and it has not officially gone on sale to the public. And we'll see, uh, you know, I mean, there's still one more day of pre-sale and then public sale. And, um, I mean, I think most of the people who wanted to go probably had codes in some form or another, and... You know, most of them have probably bought tickets, but how many more will, you know, between now and the end of August is interesting. I mean, um, the show's a gigantic success. I mean, um, that's all you can really say about it. It's uh, right now, it's the third biggest. No, 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 that's not right. Uh, it was, it's, it's the third biggest show ever in the UK. Um, and gate wise, it's the second biggest. It probably won't top clash at the castle for the gate it's way above wembley stadium it'll it'll triple the wembley stadium that wwe did for gate but that's because you know you can talk inflation and all that and there's some validity to it but even adjusted for inflation um the gate for this show will be significantly above the wwe show in 1992 at wembley um inflation hasn't been uh, tripled uh, i mean uh tripled since 1992 or, or whatever so um yeah giant success and um, no matches announced yet or anything like that. Nothing even hinted at. And uh, that is, uh, you know, I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it other than, uh, you know, it was, uh, um, you know, they, they took a gamble and uh, the gamble paid out, you know, paid up. And uh, it's kind of interesting because um, the... Uh, you know, as far as the, the, the show and everything like that, um, you know, the, um, you know, that, that the, they usually like, like this last weekend, uh, or this last week on TV, their two shows in the UK, um, Rampage got, you know, both of them got between like, uh, right around the 90,000 viewer number. So they got like 90,000 television viewers in the UK per week, and they've sold, you know, probably 45, 46,000 tickets uh, before they've even gone on sale. They'll probably, and you know, they're, whatever they're going to end up with, 55 or 60 or even more, who knows? Um, that's like an amazing statistic. Um, it's unheard of, absolutely unheard of. And it's a unique circumstance, you know, I mean, it's... Uh, you know, first time in Europe and everything like that. But still, you know, a lot of companies have run their first show in Europe or first show in Japan or first show in Mexico or first show in Canada or whatever. It's been nothing like this historically. It's really um, it's really an amazing number historically, especially because, again, all the other ones that have done this have pretty much done it, uh, you know, I mean, I guess Clash at the Castle probably sold most of their tickets with it before people officially knew it was Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre, but everyone knew it was Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre from the start. I mean, this is one, you know, with, with the SummerSlam, people knew what the card was, you know, and, and when, when you know, when the tickets were going on sale. Not all, not everyone knew the card, but you knew some of the stuff. This one, it's like liter literally no clue, nothing, nobody announced officially to be there or anything like that. It's just AW, AEW in uh europe for the first time um you know it's 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 kind of an it's kind of an unbelievable story so um and we'll have more on that on uh you know as the as the week goes on after the first day of sales um it will be among the biggest first days it will be actually aside from a couple of wrestlemanias um it will be the biggest first day sale um, in the history of pro wrestling other than the 1992 Wembley and like I said a few Wrestlemania's beat it uh, nothing else in Japan um, they, they've actually topped any first day in Japan um, there were a couple of 40,000 first days but they're even ahead of that so it's uh, unbelievable 
an unbelievable number, you know, historically, as far as pacing. You know, it's paced well ahead of uh, Clash at the Castle. Doesn't necessarily mean it will be Clash of the Castle, but uh, it's trending. You know, it's it's ahead at the same at the it's it's uh, about thirteen thousand tickets now, and probably will end up however many they do on Friday, um, way ahead of Clash with Clash of the Castle did, which is um, you know it's pretty impressive when you consider that it's really the number two company, and and you know you can say that that's an unfair comparison and it is i mean more people are going to go to a show at wembley in london than are going to go to cardiff that is a big advantage that that uh the AEW show had over the wwe show the wwe show turned down running in in wembley that was actually the original idea was to run wembley but cardiff gave them more money so uh, again wwe wwe made more money um, because they got money from Cardiff and they got the money from the gate. Uh, I don't know what AEW's, um, if they had if they had any kind of a site fee in, in England. I haven't heard of one, so they probably didn't. So the WWE show still will end up being, you know, the more lucrative show, but you can't really compare these guys to WWE when it comes to something like that. And it's also the first time, which is another big advantage for AEW. <laughs> Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why You're does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Somebody needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're gonna get kicked off whatever run. Boo! You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.